what is going on fight fans so we have a rumor that has been going around that errol spence jr has parted ways with his long time coach derrick james now the rumor um is as follows breaking breaking sources close to errol spence jr have declared that he has broken ties with longtime trainer derrick james Calvin Ford and Roy Jones Jr. have been named as the top candidates to potentially replace James for the rematch against Terrence Crawford in December. Now, I know how these things come off, and I know how easily somebody can believe this because of the fact that this is something that normally happens when people lose for the first time. Fighters do this a lot. Um, it's a it's another way to politically sell you the fight as well where they're like hey look there's differences being made look at this new trainer and it was probably because of my trainer that you know I had issues and so now I'm moving on to a different trainer so now the fight is more viable right pay for the fight please normally that's a strategy that a lot of people use but I find this source um very unreliable only in the sense that no other boxing uh journalists are reporting on it nothing has been confirmed by errol spence jr and their team derrick james for that matter it's just a it, it looks to be just a twitter or someone who who tweets boxing you know stuff but not necessarily a boxing journalist who's somewhat gone, you know, semi-viral on Twitter where people are sharing this and, and asking questions. Is this true? Is this not true? But that they're not a credible source. And when I saw that and people were asking me about that, I saw it. I went and I went ahead and checked all the other avenues to see if this is credible. I went to check different sources. I went to check different boxing websites, credible boxing websites. I went to look at the social media of both Errol Spence and Derek James, but no, it doesn't appear that there is any split happening between them. It's only that one source and it isn't a reliable source. So my, my gut feeling is that this is not a true statement. Now, are people blaming Derek James for what happened? Yeah, sure. But I think really the chemistry is more important than anything how many times have we seen people switch trainers and it doesn't really change who they are the next fight they normally win because they don't take a crazy difficult fight they take a a, a fight that's going to get them back into the groove back into the winning position uh so normally it, it, it makes it seem like it creates the illusion that hey look this new trainer did his thing but really is your normal knowledge that you already have giving you the ability to beat a fighter that's not really your caliber a caliber that's not really within your league in terms of you know skills and, and, and knowledge and experience and things of that nature so they, usually it's an illusion that the trainer that the new trainer has helped them you can't really teach an old dog new tricks in boxing the best thing to, to do is always to stay with your trainer that you've been with for a long time because that person knows you better than anyone else. And that person will be able to give you the best chemistry uh, between trainer and fighter. So I 100% would just recommend that he stay with Derek James if it were up to me. But hey, l listen, I'm just a guy talking about boxing i'm sure there's a lot of reasons why people make choices that they do in boxing sometimes not even related to what they want to do sometimes their team sometimes their business team um they suggest things to sell a fight and it's unfortunate but in my opinion uh this is just a rumor this is not anything that's been substantiated by any boxing journalist with that is a credible source and if it is true, I do know that a lot of boxers like to do this, but I would hope that Errol Spence doesn't fall into this same kind of, you know, 
uh, pitfall that all these boxers fall into. If you notice, when they lose, they change their their uh, their their trainer. Uh, they they win a few regular stuff. They try to get back into contention, or they try to go back for the titles or whatever, and then they lose again. That's normally what happens because it's not so much the trainer is just you know the, their bad habits. And if they had their their trainer with their the chemistry, they have a better chance than having some brand new person that's not really going to show you something you know and, and, and teach you something otherworldly. All right, so hopefully this uh, tackles that uh, breaking news that a lot of people are talking about, which is really just rumors. And you guys can see that um, it, that is not the case. There's nothing credible that we have uh, to indicate that Errol Spence will be leaving Derek James at this time. Until the next one, guys, this is Edward from Boxing Fanatico. Peace out.